Welcome to Agility. My name is Brendan, and I'm here to give you a quick tour to help you get started with our headless CMS. From your home page, you'll find a general overview of your Agility instance, including a summary of your account and usage, our quick start guide, and options to find support resources or reach out should you have any questions. Next, let's take a look at the content section. Here, we'll find a hub for editors to manage and edit any content that's shared across your website or digital solution. Content items can be made available to any page of your site and can even be stored in content containers to make grouping and publishing content even easier. Well, in this section, you can create groups to better organize your content items and containers, create a new piece of content, as well as view your activity feed, properties, developer settings, and add apps from the marketplace. If at any time you'd like to learn more about something you see here, feel free to check out our resource center at agilitycms.com docs. Let's jump over and take a look at pages. The pages section in Agility is the area where you can build and manage your sitemaps and the pages that live within them. They're conveniently displayed to show you where each page is and how they relate to the pages around them. This is where your editors can come to manage pages without the need for a developer. While in this section, you can create a new page, edit an existing page, add a link or folder to your sitemap, add or edit the modules within your content zones, view your activity feed, page properties, page SEO, or add apps from the marketplace. This section is also where you can easily access and manage your URL redirections. Next, let's take a look at the assets section. Agility provides access to a robust asset manager, which acts as a central hub where you can store and organize all of your digital assets. From here, Assets can be organized into folders and subfolders, which will automatically update the URL path of the asset. You can also quickly hover over an image and select Edit to access our built-in photo editor, where you can quickly rename, resize, crop, or adjust the orientation of an asset right within Agility. While you can group assets using folders or subfolders, another way to group them is by creating a gallery, which you can find on the Galleries tab. These are like folders, but can be added to content and page modules. Next, let's take a look at the Models section. This is where you'll make your content models, which are the most important aspect of our content-first approach and allow you to make reusable, flexible, and easy to manage content within Agility. Page modules allow you to create anything from a simple structured piece of text to a more complex item that has added functionality. These are the modules that you'll use to create the structure of your pages. Page templates represent the architecture and layout of your page. It's important to have a good template and layout to make it as easy as possible for editors to create new pages on your site. More information on content models, page modules, and page templates can also be found on our resource center at agilitycms.com docs. The reports dashboard allows you to see a variety of reports related to your Agility instance, including recent changes, ready to publish content, and user activity. Lastly, let's take a look at the settings section. This is where you can access your global configuration, add or edit your sitemaps or set up a new deployment, add or edit your locales, manage user access, as well as add and view custom reports, your API keys, and a variety of other important information related to your site. Additionally, in the top right-hand corner of your screen, you can access your alerts, switch your instance or organization, access your user information, or should you have any questions, reach out to support through our live chat. Well, that wraps up our general agility tour. We have really only touched the tip of the iceberg. From here, we encourage you to explore the software, Check out the resources available on our website, and if you have any questions at all, never hesitate to reach out and ask. That's what we're here for.